Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with Charlie. She is somehow on the couch and I'm on the floor. I'm not really sure how that worked out. She's a little, little princess. Today's video is going to be an update on where I'm at really, how I'm feeling, what's going on in my head, what my goals are, all of that sort of stuff since I decided not to compete. I noticed that a lot of people tend to get very curious about what people's plans are post-competition or if they stop prep or whatnot. So I thought I would give you guys an update. But before we get into it, I do want to say thank you. What is with all the hand movements? I'm just going to sit on them. So I want to say thank you to everybody who commented, messaged me, emailed me, all of your support and kindness did not go unnoticed. It really, really, really helped me out because I was very bummed about not doing the show. It was a really hard decision for me to make. And I know it's just a bikini competition, but I was really excited about it. I was ready to go into prep and I was motivated and just like, you know, I was excited. But I think the decision was so hard for me and so annoying and like confusing and whatever because it was something that was so beyond my control. I don't like not being in control of things, but you know, that's just life. I obviously didn't have a say in what my body needed to go through, and that I think was the most frustrating part. But I really do appreciate, you know, everything that you guys said, and it really helped me out during that time, so thank you. So on to the update. As far as how I'm feeling about my decision, I'm very, very happy with the decision that I made, even though I was bummed out at the time, as I mentioned. Looking back, I know that it was the best decision for me to make and I just wouldn't have been ready for the competition. And like I said in the video where I announced that I wasn't competing, I really can't fight against my body and what it needs to do. You know, I feel really good about just listening to my body and how close we are. We're like a close knit little friendship, me and my body right now because I listen to it and I think that like it respects that I listen to it sounds very very weird but I just feel very in tune with everything and it feels good so as far as training goes I was getting really really burnt out with like the bodybuilding split and routine that I was doing during prep like I love lifting weights love lifting weights and it was getting to a point where I didn't enjoy it and it was just very boring and monotonous so I wanted to switch things up and make my routine a little bit more fun so I just came up with like this routine for the week that sounded fun to me and it's nothing strict. It's nothing that I have to do, like I have to stick with it. It's just something that I thought was fun. So right now I'm doing two days a week of like a full body hit plyometric workout. The other two days a week I'm doing just some cardio, like longer routes of cardio, whether that's going on a hike, whether that's going to spin class with my girlfriends or just hopping on the Stairmaster and watching YouTube. It's really whatever kind of cardio sounds good to me that day. And then the other two days I do upper body and abs and then legs and abs. So that is like a six day a week routine, but it's not strict as I mentioned whatsoever. If I get to the gym two days a week, cool. If I get there six days a week, cool. Just like a little, guideline I set out for myself because I do like to have a plan. I'm very like type A so I like to have a plan. So far it's kicking my ass. Plyometrics always kick my ass and I'm just really trying to build my endurance and get better at those types of workouts and so far it's it's getting better. It's really fun. So um, that's what's going on as far as my workouts go. Now as far as diet goes I am intuitively eating and I do this this thing because when you count macros for so long you have a really good idea of what's in what what a portion size is you know what you're lacking what you might need more of so i say intuitively eating loosely because i do have a very good idea of what i'm eating and and what nutrients and macros my body is getting i do pay close attention to protein because that's a big one i do want to make sure i'm getting enough protein throughout my day but as far as everything else that's kind of just like whatever I eat until I'm satisfied and that's it. I don't stuff myself. I don't force myself to eat to get a certain amount of macros or whatever. I just eat to eat and it's pretty cool. It's nice to take a break. Macros are definitely a great way to learn about food and to become more knowledgeable about nutrients, macros, everything that your body needs, what you're getting from your food. It's a great, 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 great way to learn about that. And it's also a great way to really reach your goals 
because you're very much paying attention to what you're getting and paying attention to what your body needs. But it is nice to take a break. It is nice to not track everything. It's nice not to weigh out my food or count everything. So I'm enjoying this time off of macros. I don't think that you need to be counting macros every single damn day of your life if you don't have like a specific goal in mind. Like yeah, if you're trying to lose weight, definitely pay a bit more attention to what you're consuming. If you're trying to gain muscle mass, then pay attention to what you're consuming. But if you're just like living and you don't really have like any set goal in mind, like just eat to eat, eat food because you enjoy it, eat food because it's fuel to live. It doesn't always have to serve a purpose as far as like you consuming it, if that makes sense. Some days I'm more hungry than others and some days I don't eat that much and it's just that's just how my body is. My body changes every day as far as how it feels. After I decided not to do prep anymore, I definitely indulged. I went out to dinners with my husband, I went to dinners with my friends, my family. There were a lot of memories, there was a lot of wine, there was a lot of beer, there were a lot of cocktails. It was fantastic. But at some point, like, you just feel sluggish and you feel bloated and blah. So I was like, you know, it's probably time to just not indulge so much. Definitely wasn't like a binge or anything like that, but it was more so like, oh, I wanna go do this, I wanna go do this, I wanna do that, I wanna go to this restaurant, yada, 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 all of that stuff. And, you know, it did catch up and I didn't feel so hot. Not as far as what I was looking like, but just like internally. Uh, the only real goal that I have coming up is a Mexico vacation with my hubby. We're going to Cancun in December and I'm so excited. Obviously I wanna look good on the beach in my bikinis. I wanna feel confident, I wanna feel good and healthy and just like enjoy that time with my husband, feeling, feeling fly, you know? So it's nice to have that short-term goal in mind just cause having short-term goals like that does keep you motivated and does you know, push you through your workouts or whatever, push you to maybe not have five glasses of wine a night. So that's really the only goal that I have as far as short-term goals, as far as just like the main goal right now, it's just to live a happy, healthy, balanced, fun life and just have fitness be a part of it. Not like surround life around fitness, but just have fitness and health be a part of it because I do love it a lot, but my life doesn't need to be consumed by that. There's so many other parts of my life and so many parts to me that are important and cool and fun. And so I'm gonna, you know, focus on all different aspects and just really enjoy life to its fullest. I'm finding like a whole new meaning to fitness as far as what it is to me and as far as what health is to me. And it's really cool to kind of rediscover that. I think when you really take a step back from competing or just trying to look good because you're a personal trainer or just trying to look good because you know people watch you on social media or whatever and you need you feel like you need to look a certain way or whatever you know the reason is for like aesthetic purposes it's really nice to take a step back from that and really just focus on living and finding fun ways to fit fitness into your life and to fit health into your life and find a meaning to you that's important and find a way that it works for you because fitness and health is not a one size fit all type thing whatsoever. It's okay to take a step back and kind of really just see what you want it to mean to you and how you want to incorporate it into your life and what you want to contribute into like the world as far as like social media and stuff. You know, you don't have to do what everyone else is doing. Like you can show your side of things and how you like to go about things if that's like I said, the gym two days a week, cool. If it's six days a week, cool. Like whatever, do you, baby boo. That's it. That's all I have for this update. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. P.S. Before I close out the video, I do wanna remind you that I will be at the Phoenix Europa this weekend with Live Fit. How cute is this tea? I'm like obsessed with their new tanks. I love them. But anyways, I'm gonna be with Live Fit at their booth and I'm so excited to meet you guys. It's really fun, obviously interacting with you guys this way but in person is like my jam and it makes me happy and i can't wait to meet all of you so definitely come say hello this weekend october 15th and 16th at the phoenix europa i'll see you in the next one as always thank you so much for your support